Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're gonna learn how to play Breakfast at Tiffany's as recorded by the Deep Blue Something on guitar. Now this is a really fun song to play on guitar, and it's all based around just three chords. And it's gonna be great practice for your acoustic strumming and just your rhythm. Now as we go through, I'm gonna show you sort of two different levels, two different ways of playing this. This could be a really great beginner guitar song, just going through and making the chord changes and working out those transitions, and could definitely also function as more of an advanced song where you're working on 16th note strumming and some cool little changes that we do with the chord progression to embellish the chords a little bit. So I'm going to go through and break it down and show you a simple way and then also a just full out note for note way to the recording that's going to be a little bit more advanced. Before we jump in though, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide and it's just a one page PDF but it's going to show you the five most must know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And this is the system that I use for basically mapping out the fretboard. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Breakfast at Tiffany's as recorded by the Deep Blue Something on guitar. Now really this song just has three chords in it. It's all based around a D, a G, and an A chord. Now I'm gonna show you a simple way of playing it, and then I'll show you a note for note way of playing it that's a little bit more complicated. The first way that I'm gonna show you is like level one, and then the next one skips a few levels definitely and combines some kind of fast moves and some 16th note strumming. So let's start off with I'll just play it for you. Here's what the full thing sounds like. One, two, three, four. So let's break down the main chords here. We've got a D chord. And I would play that from the fourth string down like this. Open, two, three, two. And then we're gonna to go to a G chord. And this is just a standard G here. I'm using all six strings. Third fret, second fret, open, open, third fret, third fret. It's like a four finger G chord. And then I'm gonna to go to an A chord. And for this chord, I'm just gonna use one finger. I'm gonna play the open fifth string, then I'll place my index finger on the second fret and I'm going to cover the fourth, third, and second strings. So I've got just one finger laid down there doing a little bar. Now I don't play the high E when I play that chord. I just, just grab those middle strings there. So those are the main chords you need to know. So D, G, and A. Now the main progression, which is used, this is used for the intro, the verse and the instrumental sections go like this. Just one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and. So I would start with getting those movements. So you've got the D, the first chord lasts for four counts. One, two, three, four. Then the next two chords, are in the second measure. Now the G goes right on the downbeat. One and two, but the A, we're gonna rhythmically push it a little bit. It's gonna come in on what we call the and of two. One and two and three and four and. So one, two, and three, and four and. One, two, and three, and repeat. Three, four, and one, two, and three, and four and. So I would start with that, okay? Then from there, you can start to add some more rhythm. Like maybe you wanna go. So 
So the main groove that I'm thinking about is called 16th notes. And what we're doing is we're taking, we were just counting one, two, three, four. We're taking each one of those beats and splitting them into four parts. So we're gonna count one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And our strum hand just goes back and forth. The pattern is like down up. So you might wanna just do this on muted strings, okay? Then what we're gonna do is, that's one E and a, two E and a. Okay, that's the first half of the first bar. So one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, okay? So that's down, up, up, down. Then we're gonna go three E and a, four E and a. So that's three E and a, four E and a. So all together, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, ba, 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 one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now if I said the strumming directions, it would go down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? Okay, that's the first bar. Then in the second bar, we're gonna go. So that's down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So all together. Now, on top of that, this is where it gets a little bit trickier, a little bit more advanced. There's these little edits on the chord, and this is really fun to just spice up your chord progression. We're gonna take that D chord, we're gonna lift off that first string and make it open. Then we're gonna go back, and then we're gonna add our pinky and go. That's a D sus4 where I added my pinky to the third fret there of the first string. And it just goes there for one strum, and then back to D just natural there, so. And up to speed. That's pretty cool. Then on the next bar, on the A, we're gonna have a little change as well. So I'm on this A chord and I'm gonna add an A sus4 there. So that's just adding that third fret there on the second string to the A chord. We're just getting like little movements in the chords. Two, three, four. All right, so that's the majority of the song. Now, the only other part is the chorus. And what we do there is we have just a little change in the second bar. So the first bar is D. Now what I did was instead of going G to A like we did in the previous section, now we're gonna go A to not just G, but G over B. Which is basically your G chord here, but played from the fifth string down. Now I'll keep that same rhythm. And I'm changing to that G over B on the and a two. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Congrats on making it through this classic breakfast at Tiffany's tune. Be sure to take your time with those chord changes and the rhythms. Adding in those 16th note rhythms is definitely another level to this song. I would just start first, get the chords and play along with the recording, just doing a simple strum. And then as you get more comfortable, you can start adding in those 16th notes. And to help you even more, make sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style 
anywhere on the neck. You can grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Also, before you go, leave a comment and let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. I'm always looking at the comments to see what I should teach next and how I can help you even more. So let me know down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.